he's created this on-screen kind of heroic uh, version. I love working with him. He's a real film director. Um, and with all the logistics he has to think of, especially something like that, that's supposed to be a moving train of seven carriages. She's just a great, she's a great actress. She's beautiful, she's enticing, she's alluring, and she's brilliant, and she has that. 10 years. I beg your pardon. Thank you. I've been on this train that, the, that our line is based on. We, we use a fictitious line, but the actual train line, I've been on 70, 80. It's my first time on a commuter train. What about you? Every day, last. You must know everyone on this train. The regular commuters, mostly. This kind of, this presence that really draws Liam in and I think draws the audience in. And um, she, was, she was someone who, uh, when we read the script, we immediately... There are very few people today that can really carry a movie like this. You know, Liam's got that unique... It's just this... 85 times. Over the past 20 years, yeah, I know that line very well. We thought of because she just has such a powerful screen presence, and we thought that she would she would go so well with Liam. Simple hypothetical question. What's that? What kind of person are you? Unique likability factor. He's really empathetic. You see him, and you really care about him instantly. That's it's amazing when you see Liam on. Well, um, for my guy, it's definitely a moral dilemma. What if I asked you to do one little thing? So it was really kind of a <clears throat> something that immediately came to us when we read it. We just thought of her. Don't make me hurt someone you love. They're watching you. I see, Joel Silver showed it to me. In order to see Jama's work, I had not a clue what orphan was about. <laughs> Why would I do it? There would be a... You know, in the story, Liam's character is going through financial stress, so this is a very appealing and enticing offer to him. I first met Jama on Orphan, and he w it was in post-production. He had just shot it. Uh, would you do it? I want to know what kind of thing. There's some action scenes, and uh, we rehearsed them. I have a great fight choreographer, uh, Mark. You find out very early on that he has really uh, gotten a lot taken away from him. Um, and and he's not at a... Don't leave the train before finding them. Don't tell anyone about this offer. Someone on this train does not belong. You don't know what they look like. All you have to... The thing about Liam is he's one of those very few guys that, that, you, that he is, is such a giving person and such a giving actor, right? And so you... do is find them. And all this, this, his resurgence as this action star comes from the fact that he's got such a, a soul. Um, Reward. You're kidding me. Um, when he's in trouble. I'm not going to do this. Oh my god. Uh, well, first of all, you get to see what Liam Neeson does so well, which is take you on such a ride, such a journey. You have no idea who you're up against. Of ...and people that you've never seen, um, and that's always refreshing. I mean, everybody on that train has got some major... They will kill you, your family, and every... I thought he elevated that material. He really took something that was very simplistic and figured out how to make it interesting and compelling and shoot it in a really fascinating way. Everyone on that train. You want to live? You stop this goddamn. Almost in real time. And he is literally on screen for almost the entire movie. So you have to really invest in him. And there's something about him that he's masculine, but. Train like now. You have until next stop to decide. What kind of person are you? 